In this video, we're going to look into a demo for PMP based in a hospital emergency room. This is a full example of the execution of the steps that have been available in the previous video. In this demo, a robot is assisting humans in an emergency room. The robot initially moves to the waiting room where the patient is located and has a dialogue to get the patient's data. Then the robot accompanies the patient to the consulting room. If it's occupied, shown with a closed door, the robot accompanies the patient to the next available consulting room. This repository will contain a few extra folders that are not in the initial PMP package. These two folders, action and action messages, are used to create new actions and conditions. So in here you're gonna see the closed door condition, dialogue, person here condition, and resolve issue. And uh, the messages are gonna go alongside the actions. And this uh, PMP folder is the, contains all the other folders that you see in your usual uh, package when you create your PMP custom application. The first part we're going to do in this tutorial is look into the simulation environment. In this case, it's going to be stage where we're going to run all the tasks this robot uh, has to do. We already created the playground. The first thing is we're going to download and run this uh, stage simulation environment. To do so, we're going to write docker pull. Yoki and then stage underscore environments and we're gonna let this all download now that we have pulled the stage environments we're gonna get from the URL this one right here And we are gonna source docker run the bash. Now inside this uh, stage environment container, we can run one of the environments such as this one, Rust run. This is the plant floor for the hospital emergency room and you run this environment simulation this way. So here you can see the robot. And if you zoom out, you can see the rest of the environment. Uh, these are people right here and as you can see over here uh, these are the the offices and you can see some doors that are closed and some are open the ne next thing you're gonna do is download the PetriNet plants and create the PMP docker image this is something that has already been explained previously in the previous video so you can check how to do that in either way, you can always check the instructions here as well. You can run this. And in order to also download the, this demo, the emergency room demo, you can use this information right here. I already have this demo, so I'm just going to use it and run it. After you have downloaded, this uh, repository for the emergency room demo you're gonna enter and we're gonna build build bash to build the image now we can run this demo using run.bash 
and it's going to open the container. And here we're going to, in the first tab, this area right here, we are going to run the actions. So ROS launch your actions, your action, actions. There you go. In the next tab, we're going to press Control B and then Shift 5 in this case for percentage. This will open a new tab. We can move this tab right here to make it smaller. And we're going to use three different ones. So let's open a different one. In here, we're going to run the ERPMP Rust launch PMP PMP dot launch there you go it's now connected and now in this last one we are gonna run the plan so now we're gonna go to ROS CD ER PMP and to the plants. Let's just check. In this case, we have already our PNML here, our PMP generated. So now we can run it. Otherwise, you can also generate it. But since we have it, we're going to Ross run your PMP and we're going to run plan.bash and we're going to put the, the name of your plan in this case it's called ER and you will start seeing the robot moving in the simulation you're also going, going to be able to see some uh, people and some objects these people and objects you can move like so and uh, let's look at the footprints of the robot so you can see how it's moving so the first thing it does it the robot moves to the waiting room which is this it uh, goes to where the patient is located and has a dialogue to be able to get the, the data of the patient once it does this it accompanies it moves to uh, the consulting room where the person would be moving to So now the robot is approaching the consulting room. It's going to check if the door is closed. If it is, then it can enter. So it moves to the next consulting room. It checks also if the door is open there. If it's open, then it enters that room. So it checks, it finds it open, and it enters the consulting room. So 
So that's the end of the simulation and of the plan. You can stop this plan earlier if you want by instead instead of using this ER as a plan, you can use the stop command and run that. You can also run a different plan if you would like to uh, using the instructions of the other video where it shows how to create a new plan in a new PMP. You need, of course, as you can see here, let's, let's just do raw CD ER PMP and then we're going to go to the plans. So make sure you have your problem, your domain that you can use in your PDDL. And then you will, you can use uh, an execution rule if you would like to. You can add or change things in this execution rule file. And you can generate a new PMP. That will be this one right here. And now you can run your new plan if you wish to. The last thing is just to completely close and quit all the demos. And to do so, you have to close the containers by pressing Control B and then D. And that would be it. So Control B and D. And now to close uh, the simulation, you do the same thing, Control B and D. And that's it. That's the end of this uh, demo for the PMP simulation of an emergency room hospital.